So, welcome to this video. We are going to be scouting all of our alfalfa for bugs, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be looking for. Um, and again, we're still giving away hats. We're gonna be giving them away. I'm gonna be picking the two winners when I get 100 subscribers, and there's going to be a green one like this one, and there is a blue one. To enter, you have to like, subscribe, and comment on this video or any of my other videos, and of course, to the channel. You don't subscribe to a video, you just subscribe to the channel. Um, so, I guess, The next thing we want to go and look at, um, and if we close in on one of these, this is a really bad plant. You can tell there's a bunch of eaten hole or holes that have been eaten through here, and that is actually the bugs. So then I will go down here and kind of split down the ground, and I'll look in here and see like right, right there is what we call a weevil, an alfalfa weevil. Now those are the worst bug because those will stay in the windrow even after we cut it. That's one of our techniques, that if the plant is far enough along, we'll just come in here and cut the, the crop, and then that will kind of slow down the spread of the insects, and then we can harvest it, and most of the time it'll get rid of them. But the problem is with weevil, they'll stay in the windrow. So that's obviously an issue. That means we pretty much have to spray it either now or later. We have to wait 14 days after we spray it though in order to cut it so that it's not dangerous or toxic still for anybody. Um, but yeah, this crop doesn't look super far along. Um, it's pretty short, maybe a foot, maybe even less than that. Um, so we're probably gonna end up spraying this one. The weevil is really bad, it looks like. Here's another spot. It's been eaten pretty bad. And again, we'll just open it up. Yeah. And look for insects. Yeah, it looks like there's one back in here, maybe. Uh oh. Yeah, there's some insects in here. It looks like there's some weevil. There's a weevil right down here, right there. There's another one right there. Um, so that's a bad deal. We're gonna have to come in here. This stuff's, like I said, isn't far enough along that we need to cut it. So we'll probably come in here with a sprayer and spray some insecticide on the whole field here. It's coming back. Oh, there's another aphid right in there. Right there. You guys can't see it, but yeah, that's what an aphid looks like. Here's another spot that has some really good alfalfa. I'll show you the stage that we're um, kind of looking at. We look at the top. Here's one. We want to look for a bud, and on this plant, they're starting to form, start to form right in here. Um, that one doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of one going on. There's one over here that had a lot. Yeah, it's got one growing right in here. You can just feel it by touching it. There's like a little ball or something. Oh, there's a bug right in there. He just dropped. So yeah. We have a bad bug problem this year. Come out here and check the different varieties and make sure you have them separate in your mind. This field is actually cut down the middle um, on the variety. This side is low lignin. That side is some Roundup Ready. Um, it's not low lignin. So this is, this is some new stuff to us. We're gonna come out here and check the bugs. As far as I can see, they're actually doing a little better over here on the low lignin um, side but they are still not doing super great. It wasn't marketed as anything like bug resistant or anything, so it's not like it's a bad deal. It's just sometimes it's fun to see what the differences are. And there's some um, aphids here. And this stuff is a little shorter than the rest. It's growing a little shorter. It's growing a little slower. As you can see, it's still like six inches from my kneecap. And that was the high spot. This is a low spot here, and it is really low. It is bare, not even to the top of where my boot is. So it's, we've kind of noticed it doesn't uh, produce as well as we thought it was going to produce when we bought it. And the other problem is it's really, really hard to get dry when we cut it. So the likelihood of us planting this stuff again is probably pretty low because of those two factors. But, I mean, that is like, 
the main stuff you're looking at when you're coming into alfalfa is you want to have high production and easy to dry and then the other thing is good quality and this stuff just produces just the same as any of the other stuff so and it was much more expensive probably not a good buy